Hey, this is Mayer. Here's my twist for the day. Well, traders, I'm done trading for the day. I'm going to finish uh, my day up uh, $5,795. Well, not bad for a little bit more than one hour. And, you know, it's a nice green day. Let's have a short recap of uh, my trading session today. My first trade today was Tesla. Now, take a look at Tesla. A very, very clear uptrend. I mean, there's nothing special about it. It is Tesla and it is uptrending and everybody's tr buying Tesla recently. You probably uh, talked to some of your friends and the I mean, among the first questions would be, should I buy Tesla now? <laughs> I mean, who's the crazy person who's buying Tesla? I am. <laughs> I just bought some, right? But I sold them too. Now, the reason I'm buying and I'm selling is because I don't trust Tesla and I don't see any uh, reason why Tesla should uh, go sky high. I mean, fundamental speaking, there's no reason for, for Tesla to move higher. Uh, actually, there's a very good reason to, for Tesla to crash down. But that's not the way the market works. The market works according to, you know, if you have more buyers than sellers, then the stock is moving higher and they don't really care about the price. As long as they can, uh, you know, put some more hot air in the, in, in the stock, they, they're doing that gladly. They'll just keep buying. I wouldn't go sleeping with Tesla, but I would definitely day trade it because everybody else is buying it. And when Tesla is trading higher, you should add to the power of the intraday traders. You should add the fact that uh, investors, long term investors are buying. Everybody else who's interested in Tesla, they're just buying and buying and buying. Why should I care? I mean, as long as it's moving higher, fine. Yesterday it came down. Well, theoretically, Tesla could crash down. So I shorted it. Today, I went long. I mean, whatever comes. Uh, I had a very nice uh, trade in Tesla for the long side. On the other hand, I had a, an unpleasant uh, loser with ZM. Uh, both of them I traded with half size today. The reason I did that is because I came in a little bit late. Uh, we had some issue with the uh, trading room platform and therefore I kind of felt like, okay, this is not the first few minutes where I'm used to and, you know, feeling more comfortable with. So I reduced my size both in Tesla, both in ZM. Uh, so uh, the result in ZM, as you can see, is a losing trade. And the reason I shorted ZM is uh, the intraday formation here. You see this V-shaped formation usually suggests that there are going to be some continuation. This V-shaped formation, when the stock is moving up very strong and then coming down very strong, that's usually a formation of I'm failing. It's like, okay, I've got it. I'm moving higher. Usually the first 30 minutes or so, you know, some open trades from yesterday's autom automated execution, things like that. And, but then uh, the, the, the real uh, direction is taking over. And I thought the real direction would be this, uh, again, this vicious formation, which will continue to take it down. Now, if you look uh, at the intraday, it looked nice, moved to a short right over here, but it did not continue. Had my stop somewhere over here and moved out. But you need to take a look at the daily because the daily suggests that ZM is going to continue coming down. It's a very clear downside momentum. So if you take a look at ZM's daily, you could think that, well, it's probably going to continue coming down. Did it happen today? No, not yet. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't go my way. I've got my stop loss and I'm moving out. I was definitely wrong about uh, ZM. Well, wasn't wrong about uh, Mara. Take a look at Mara here. Uh, wasn't my pick. Um, it was uh, posted in the trading room. I just followed it. And again, if you take a look at uh, the intraday formation, same as Tesla. This stock is being uh, in the news recently, uh, clearly uptrending, was uptrending today. However, I don't really like the daily. The daily suggests that we're going to have, I mean, in the future days, the daily suggests that we're going to have some real downside, strong downside day. So uh, write down this, uh, this symbol. We're going to have some party shorting it uh, uh, soon. However, you don't short a stock which is up way too much and continues to move up because that's a clear indication of what could become a short squeeze. Everybody, not everybody, a lot of people would short a stock that looks like that. So on some days, and I think we had a short, didn't we? I can't remember, two days ago, maybe not. But we were looking at shorting this stock. 
you don't short a stock like this when it's moving up because this could be a short squeeze. There's a lot of open uh, short positions which could uh, definitely uh, get quickly closed when a stock like this is trying to move higher. Why? Because a lot of short sellers are using uh, margin, a lot of margin, usually professionals. And, uh, and when a stock like that is trying to move higher, then it usually bounces up real quick. And um, this is a day to go long if you see the stock uptrending. But write down this uh, symbol because we could have some fun uh, going short um, in the next few days. Again, there's two options here. According to the daily, one is to go long, one is to go short, and both of them should be uh, extremely interested, interesting. One more thing you need to notice here is the fact that you go long before it moves to a new high. Our NT was here over 24, 25, right over here, where the highs was approximately 12 cent higher, right here at 37. And again, you expect a new high, you, you, you don't go long at a new high, you expect a new high and that's where you go long. Once you go long over the highs, that is something that novice day traders do. And then you are usually chasing the stock up, buying at expensive price and you know, you just need to expect it. Um, my other trade, uh, last trade we're going to talk about today is uh, plug and again uh, plug was trending lower. My entry point was here and I got my partial and a little bit more than that, but definitely should have been shorted earlier probably somewhere over here. This could have been a very, very nice trade if I would have just found it earlier and I did not. But now you need to take a look at the daily of plug to understand why it should come down. And here's the reason. If you look back just a few months ago, three months ago, the stock was trading at seven, eight dollars. And recently it just got to $65. So when a stock is moving up um, another 15%, just like it did today. And again, short squeeze all the way like uh, this day over here yesterday um, and then definitely you you have opportunities trading it for the long side and for the short side almost every day so today after bouncing up another 15 percent this is a profit taking day and when you when you take a look at the intraday and it starts slowly descending moving lower trending lower you could join it yeah we did now it's just going sideways and of course i'm out of this trade but it worked out fine and anyway just keep following there's again two options here another short squeeze where you could go long or a very big downside day uh, you know, very likely tomorrow you're going to find a plug just right down this symbol, uh, gaping most likely after this. I mean, I mean, if this downtrend is going to continue today, you're likely to found, find a plug uh, gaping down tomorrow, five, seven percent or something like that. So it could be a gap and go. Now, I wouldn't put my money where my mouth is because I'm an intraday trader and I'm looking for an intraday move in plug. But just keep watching it. It should be interesting. Should be interesting uh, tomorrow too. So again, always watch the daily. Always try and figure out what's going, uh, what, what what is about to happen. Now take a look again at the daily of plug, and I'm gonna put up here uh, a stock that uh, we had some fun with in the past few days, and I noticed some of you uh, traded it for the short side today, which is BTBT. Now take a look at the daily of BTBT, and it's kind of reminding uh, the same formation as plug. Now if you think that uh, a stock like plug can continue uh, moving higher, you're probably wrong. Uh, probably is not 100%, but probably is very, very, very likely wrong. This stock is very, very, very likely to come down. I don't know how far, 50, 45, 37, it will come down. Look at BTBT. We had the same issue a few days ago. Stock started at $4 just a few months ago, then spiked up to $33. And since then, uh, down 50%. Now, this 50% is likely to happen to plug here. Maybe plug is a great company. I don't know. I don't care. But if plug just moved in to $65 after starting at uh, $9 or $8 just a few months ago, three months ago, it's not likely to stay here. And I don't care what the reasons are. Maybe it's going to continue sky high. But <laughs> until then, we're going to have some interesting shorting days. Now, look again. We talked about it when BTBT BT was here. Actually, the first day down was the day I shorted it. And then we had several uh, short days. I also remember one long day. I think there was a 
um, kind of an intraday short squeeze there also. Anyway, lots of fun when the stock is moving that much. So just write down the symbols. We could have some fun with these ones. So anyway, it was an interesting day. Um, not a huge upside day. I had a better day yesterday. But it's nice to finish with uh, four uh, trades from which uh, three in green, uh, one in red. And uh, just a nice um, green day. Uh, thank you for watching traders and if you are on uh, YouTube, uh, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up right here, the button, and uh, that will help our channel, help uh, more people like you join us. And the more we are, the more, um, the more opportunities we find, uh, the stronger we are, the better we are. So uh, let's give some more people the chance to join us. It's good for us, good for you. And uh, thank you all for joining today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders.